Well, marijuana smokers in Denver have a new place to light up outside their homes. It is called Club 64, and it's billed as a private pot smoking club. Back in November, Colorado voters passed Amendment 64, which legalized the recreational use of marijuana in a private space. With plenty of goldfish and, yes, Cheetos on hand, Club 64 opened its doors yesterday at 4.20 p.m. to start ringing in the new year. You can't buy marijuana there, but the $30 membership fee will get you a new place to light up. They said regulate like alcohol, so this is where, you know, you can come and hang out and, and smoke instead of drink. It's great to actually be able to exercise my vote now, uh, to be able to just get together with my common man and be able to, you know, express ourselves in our constitutional limit. Joining me live from Denver is Robert Corey Jr. He is the general counsel for Club 64. Thanks so much for being here with us. So is this so-called cannabis club, is it actually legal for people to gather and do this? It is legal. The voters of Colorado have spoken, and the voters of Colorado legalized cannabis, and it is a new year in the Mile High City, and it's a, it's a wonderful new year, and uh, freedom was in the house last night. Well, it's, what's interesting also is, is, does this club have any sort of uh, legal responsibility, to, legal responsibility to, its, to its clients? For example, if somebody comes there and then uh, goes home and they're impaired, uh, what responsibility does the club have? Well, the club has a, a similar responsibility to any bar that uh, overserves a patron or puts somebody in a difficult spot. Uh, it's the same thing. The voters of Colorado wanted to treat marijuana like alcohol, and that is what this club does to some extent. We provide uh, marijuana, but we don't sell it, and people can come and exercise their constitutional rights together and associate together. So this club, is it like any other kind of club? Can you get a drink or, or, or are you basically just smoking pot? And is there dancing? Are there couches? Walk me through it. Well, what we had last night was a DJ. We had some good music and we had some refreshments. We did break out the Cheetos and Goldfish and um, those were gone by the end of the night and uh, the champagne was, was not all consumed. We did have some of that to ring in the new year. We didn't sell liquor yet. We can't do that. Um, and it was just a lot of conversation and the feeling last night was, you know, this is our new freedom and we are emerging from the chains of prohibition in this state and Washington state is doing the same. And so there's a lot of pent up emotion and demand to exercise our freedoms and that's what happened last night and it, it was a wonderful thing you know across the united states there were i'm sure lots of bars that were celebrating new year's eve and there was probably some violence and problems with those liquor establishments club 64 had no such problems it was peaceful it was positive and it was a good thing and everybody was happy you know, what's so interesting is that, you know, uh, those of us of a certain generation uh, call, knew, knew a group of people called sort of potheads, quote unquote. Uh, is this more of a refined crowd or are you concerned that there may still be a negative connotation about the clientele that's coming and doing this? Because not everybody is going to. Well, we have a very diverse membership, uh, um, all ages, different races, social, economic levels, and but these different people come together because of marijuana and because of cannabis. And so it's actually a, a very diverse club. And is there a stigma with marijuana? Of course, there's a stigma with alcohol too. And we are looking to move past that though. And we do it in a respectful, in a classy way. And we do it in private on our own. And uh, we're not making a spectacle of ourselves by any means. So do you think people will be more out in terms of saying, oh, sure, I light up. Did you? I, I think people are pretty open about that. I, I think people at the club, they're, they're proud to exercise their constitutional rights. They're proud of what the voters of Colorado did. And the voters of Colorado spoke very loudly. I mean, we enacted this overwhelmingly, 55% of the vote. It got more, Amendment 64 got more votes in Colorado than President Barack Obama got in Colorado. So <laughs> marijuana... Marijuana is popular here, and uh, we're not ashamed of it, and the members of this club are not ashamed uh, to be exercising our constitutional rights. All right, very good. Robert Corey Jr., thanks so much for joining us. Well